Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a hydraulic ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, water comes down a pipe called a drive pipe, activates a waste valve, sending water into a pressure tank, and goes uphill. So if I turn on this valve right here, you'll be able to see it cycle. It'll do that 24-7 non-stop. So in this video, I want to see if I can reduce the amount of sound you hear from the waste valve. I've had some people say that it annoys them and also that that sound will attract thieves that steal the ram pump. So in this video, I want to try out two different things. I'm going to put a little container or a fitting up here on top of the valve to see if that will reduce the sound. And then next, I'm going to put a bucket that I've cut in half and it's going to completely surround the valve. And uh, to see the difference in the decibel value, I've got an app on my phone that will help us determine the audio level of this valve. So let's go ahead and get started. Now how accurate this is, I don't know, but at least it'll show us a comparison here. So for the, right now, uh, let's go ahead and get a base value with uh, nothing added to the valve. Our base value here with just the waste valve was hitting at 72 dB. I've got a four inch to one inch bushing that I'm going to screw onto the top of this valve and that will allow a pool of water to rest on top and I think that may reduce the sound some. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm simply going to screw this into the top of the valve and that will allow the water to still come up but rest inside of this little cup here. Now keep in mind this will reduce the input head pressure by this amount right here. Now if I open back up the drive pipe, you can see there's always a cup of water on top of that valve. Using my same app, let's go ahead and find out what this next value is. Based on the app, it's also showing 72 dB. So no change by putting this on top of the valve. Let's move on to the next test. Coming up next, I have taken a five gallon bucket and cut it in half. I've got the valve sticking up from in the middle here. And uh, you can see it's got a little extension pipe. So that way this entire valve will have this much cushion space underwater. Let's go ahead and screw this on and see what we get. Now I also can put that other little cup on top of here if we want to uh, have that to uh, also uh, add more water to this. It's going to take a second for that bucket to fill up and we'll see if this gets quieter. The bucket is now completely full of water. Let's see if this has reduced the sound any. The average value on this was now 75, so it was actually higher than the previous tests. And now for the last test, I have both the half bucket and this top piece on here. The test with the bucket and the top piece here had a dB value of 73, so still louder than just the valve by itself. All right, I believe that is gonna be conclusive for this test here. I have discovered that just putting a cup of water on top of the valve is not going to reduce the sound. Also, placing the valve inside of water is not reducing the sound either. So I think the next test that I'm gonna be running in a future video is to cover the entire ram pump and put insulation inside and see if we can't reduce the sound. I think that's gonna be our best bet. So definitely stay tuned for the next video on the soundproofing of the ram pump. Now, if you want to have a ram pump of your very own, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com. I'll have the links to that in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.